Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. Once again, I am here very close, so close that you could see me if you wanted, to each of you. This moment is a very delicate moment in your journeys. It takes determination, it takes faith, it takes awareness of the path being taken. Just surrender, my sons and daughters. Surrender yourselves to the light. Many ask themselves, what does it mean to surrender to the light? Will I need to give up everything I do here in the third dimension? So I ask you, would you give up your job? And if you opened, how would you support yourself? Would you give up your food? And if you opened it, how would you feed yourself? Would you give up your home? And if it opened, where would you live? So stop complicating something that is so simple. I'm not asking, or rather, we're not advising you to drop everything and start living like hermits. Surrendering to the light is just emanating light, is not having low vibration feelings, is not to speak low vibration words, is not to act in a low vibration way. This is surrendering to the light. It is not giving up anything. Of course, many things you do, we can say don't have a very good vibration, vices mainly, the foods you consume. But at this moment, it is important that you start to realize everything. It's not about giving up everything at once. Many give up, no, I won't give up anything. It's a choice. So it would be good if we explained the following, your bodies are changing, whether you want it or not, whether you follow the light or not, whether you surrender to the light or not. Why? Because the light of Alcyon is coming and doing this, evolving your bodies. Because if they didn't evolve they wouldn't be able to absorb so much light. Very good. So this is not a choice, it is happening and that's it. Now, how is each of you taking this? So yes, it is the fruit of your choices, it is the fruit of what you eat, it is the fruit of what you drink, it is the fruit of what you think and act. So if you emanate a lot of light, if you are a loving person, if you are a person who eats well, takes care of your health, you will go through this phase almost imperceptibly. Now if you don't take care of yourself, eat uncontrollably, don't value anything, then it'll tell you that the process will be very difficult. But you will continue on the path of ascension, this will not take you off the path. Of course, I can't say that a person who doesn't have addictions will have the same speed as someone who does. Obviously not. But even those who still have vices, if they emanate light, if they are a loving person and stay on the path of light, they will have their place on the road to ascension. Now when and how will she get there? There is another fact to be considered. So, my sons and daughters, to surrender to the light is to be light completely, to love. Love yourself, love your neighbor, love the planet, love a brother, love your body, love your life. Ah, but there is nothing in my life that I can love. Then you have a serious problem because you still haven't understood that this life that you think is so bad is a step in your evolution, and it seems like you haven't seen that yet. So you're in a little bit of trouble. Yet, yeah, you always make a problem. Everything for you is a problem. I will not surrender to the light, for this, for this and for that. Because they don't want to give up anything, they don't want to change anything, they don't want to risk anything. So very well, this is also a choice. Now, don't complain. Because whoever surrenders to the light needs to give up many things. But it's not giving up your life, it's not giving up your home, your job, your friends. We never said that. You can continue to have a social life, you can continue to have a normal life like everyone else has. But what has to be taken into account are the feelings emanating at each moment. If you can be with your friends and emanate only light, always be smiling, always be happy with them, this will be a wonderful moment on your journey. 
The problem is that many of you can't do this anymore, because you are not on the same wavelength. So you think you are giving them up. You think you are being forced to be alone. Unfortunately, I will say that it really is a lonely walk, and you only find peers in those who take the same walk. Unfortunately that's how it is. But we never told you, don't go out with your friends anymore. You're the one who can't bear to hang out with them anymore. But if you keep going out it's okay, it will depend on the feeling you are emanating towards them. Understand this my sons and daughters. We don't force you to do anything. But it's all a matter of choice, choosing the path to follow, choosing the way you will follow. Everything can be done within what we call a path of light. Be aware of where you are going. Be aware of the environments you enter. But if you want to enter, that's fine, you will lose a quantum of vibration, yes, but if you are happy at that moment, everything is fine. You will make up for these losses later. So we don't ask anyone to stop living, to stop having relationships, to stop eating, to stop drinking. We never said that. But you need to be aware of what is good and what is not what is healthy and what is not, the environment that is healthy and what is not. Learn to discern things. Learn to find the right path. But I repeat again, everything is choices. And if you don't want to choose this now, that's okay. Now don't complain about the internal processes you are going through. The body will hurt, the body will complain. Yes, it will and it will only depend on whether or not you accept this change, and do whatever you can to help. Now if you don't want to help, that's okay too. Bear the consequences. It's part of the process. We are not the ones doing anything. It is part of the ascension process of the planet, and consequently of you. So make your choices. Nobody forces them to do anything. Nobody forces them to give up anything. Keep your lives as they are. Now, never forget that every choice always has a result. You don't want to think that you will continue living your lives as you always have, with addictions, with imbalances, with completely processed foods and everything will be fine, and you will be at the front of the ascension line. Your mistake, because you won't be. Know how to strike a balance. While you are in the third dimension, live in balance. You can occasionally consume something wrong, as long as it doesn't become a habit. Always maintain a healthy diet, but if you deviate from it from time to time, no one will die because of it. You recover later. Now that this doesn't become a habit, because everything that is a habit starts to get complicated. So don't complain about anything. Everything is a consequence of what you say and think, and also how you act. You want change, you want to evolve, you want to ascend, but you don't want to give up anything. They want to continue experiencing the pleasures of the third dimension. Unfortunately I have to tell you, it is incompatible. Because these pleasures are ephemeral, they only bring illness and discomfort into their minds. It does not bring joy it's an ephemeral joy that soon passes. Now you are wanting to walk towards eternal joy, and if that is what you want, then change, then make new choices, take new paths.